Hey guys, this is Bogdan from DNN Sharp. I'm in Singapore, it's raining again outside, but that's not the purpose of today's video. I want to tell you about a new release we're preparing, and this is actually the first one in a series of three scheduled for this year. And this is called Action Grid, and it started as a extension to Action Form because people, our customer asked us for a mechanism to manage the submitted data. And that's what we did, and we started with that, but we've implemented a generic interface where we can plug into different uh, data sources so we can actually build like a user management table, a um, page management table, and all kind of stuff like that, and I will show you that in a bit. But first I will cover the basic scenario. Let's say you have an action form, and then you want to connect it to this grid. We'll just add by, uh, start by adding the action grid module. I don't see anything because I just added it. I'll go manage it. And the first thing that I have to do is set up a data source. And in this case, the data source is action form. <coughs> And I have quite a lot of modules here, but I know that the one having some real data is this one. And now you see I uh, this action grid pulled the fields from that action form module. So I see all the fields and I can configure which field is sortable, which is filterable, which is searchable. searchable. So let me make, for example, um, the first name. I'll make it filterable, although it doesn't make much sense in this case. But I just want you to show, to see all the cool stuff. So I'm just saving and show you first, and then we'll go through many details. So this is uh, Action Grid. It shows me a grid of data. I can sort columns, and then I can filter and then I can um, search. You see, and it's search as you type. And then I can uh, do all stuff with the pagination. And finally, what's very interesting about this integration is that I can edit this record. So this were submitted with action form, but now I go, click this arrow button, and I'm arriving to the action form module with the data actually loaded, loaded in. So now if I make an edit, I, s I save it. Uh, if this module would have been correctly set up, there is a return URL here and I would have returned automatically to the grid. But that's just one module that I picked up. And you see now it updated data. So action form is no longer a um, form to collect data, now you can also manage it. And same for add. Clicking add will uh, take you to the form. The form is empty, you can input the data, submit, and have it here in the grid. I think that alone it's a um, very cool, very cool thing. But um, let's take a look at, the, at this interface. Let me close the edit mode. What you'll notice about this grid that is it's responsive and it's touch friendly. If you have like a device with touch, you can just scroll it. You can sort by it, you can filter, so you see the buttons are big, so you, you can use your uh, finger, you can edit, add, and all the stuff like that. So it's also, uh, it's responsive, but also touch optimized. And also the pagination, if I had uh, set, set up some pagination here, let me do this now. I, I, I have two options, either to select the classical pager where you have pages one, two, three, four, and so on. Maybe just use uh, here. I would use a default page size very small. And here you see you have two options. You can choose this touch-friendly 
um, pager or you can choose the classic one, two, three, four, five, six pager, but which is not as cool. So you see now I can use again uh, the touch to go to page two. They are big buttons, they work on devices. So it's, uh, it feels very, very cool to do this, uh, to do this management. <coughs> and this uh, was the main purpose of this module, but then we, we got so many ideas and we added some really, really cool stuff into it. And let me show you something just uh, uh, real, real quick. Let me change the database to a SQL query or maybe to a database table, but let's try with a SQL query and say, select user ID, let's say display name, email from users. Where, why not, something. User ID greater than one, let's say. Doesn't make much sense, but you could write any query and then you can inner join. So make a very complex query to pull data. <coughs> and then you would have to define which is the ID column, which ident uniquely identifies one row. And then, because this is, uh, could be a complex query, we, don't, um, we can't know how to add or edit or delete entries to it. But we can provide URLs. For example, here we can set up a URL to the user management uh, module from DNN, where uh, administrator can add user or edit users. When we click done, we see something like this. So I, we already have all the columns. Now, if I had too, too many columns, I would be able to just hide, hide some of them and then re-enable them later if I wanted to. So what I have now is something like this. Like this. So I, I have a user from the database. I have a page size of two, so I can uh, see all the users. I'll just change the, I'll just change it back to five. Okay, and now I can also implement deletion by using some actions. And if you are familiar with the action form, you'll notice that we have the same mechanism here and the same action we use over and over again. And here we have uh, the events to run some actions when on delete. And on bulk delete means the, these actions are run once for all the selected items. And this action will be run once per item. So uh, for example, I can do a run SQL query and here writes uh, delete from users where user ID equals, and then I will use a token to extract the value from for the current uh, row. So here I would uh, have tokens for every column in the current row. So I will also have display name if I wanted to, and email because these are all the columns. Yeah, so I can um, have this grid, which is very, very cool, connect to all kind of da data sources from, other diff from different places. So I can even um, make like a server request to a URL and make a um, delete, let's say, to a REST API, I could do that. I think one very common scenario that you can think of is you want to build like a lead collection system. So you have, you gi you have an action form that gives them, let's say a PDF download or a code or a discount code. They will fill, the user will come to the site, fill out the form. Then when they submit, you send them whatever they uh, sign up for, but then you collect them into a leads table and you use this action grid to manage them. And that's about everything that we have for version one, but we have tons of ideas for version two and we would very much like to also have your feedback and uh, you can do so on our forums at dnnsharp.com slash support. Thank you for your time and uh, I hope you'll uh, 
give this uh, action grid a try. Thanks. <laughs>